Perhaps you've heard about the use of mass timber construction in skyscrapers and high-rise buildings, but you want to know more. Well, stick around. That's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Well, hey folks, welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. I'm Ricky McLean of Woodworks. Tall mass timber buildings, tall wood construction, mass timber high rises, timber skyscrapers. What do all of these terms mean? Today's video is going to start to unpack the different terminology that is used when talking about taller timber structures. Now, this is going to be the first of several videos that will come out really trying to unpack and understand tall mass timber construction. So today's video is really just going to be an introduction. Again, remember to subscribe on YouTube so you can catch those future videos coming out. All right, so let's get right into some of the definitions and understanding these terms. We talk about high-rise construction. This is a term that's defined in the International Building Code. It really has nothing to do with the materials that are used in the building. The building code says that a building is classified as a high-rise building if the distance from the lowest level of fire department access to the highest occupied floor is 75 feet or more. Now, when we say the lowest level of fire department access, this is an important distinction because when we're looking at overall building height, the building code traditionally looks at the building height as being measured from grade plane. Now, grade plane is essentially the average grade around the entire perimeter of the building. So if it's a building that's on a pretty flat site, generally speaking, average grade plane is gonna be probably the same as the lowest level of fire department access. But if we do have a sloping site, meaning maybe we're accessing the building at a lower level on one side of the building and an upper level on the other side of the building, then our average grade plane would be somewhere in the middle, whereas our lowest level of fire department access would be that lowest level of the building. So if that dimension from that lowest level to the highest occupied floor is 75 feet or more, then the building is considered a high rise building. And if that's the case, there are some specific provisions in chapter four of IBC that kick in. Now, when we start talking about tall wood buildings or tall mass timber construction, you know, a, a common question that I get was, well, what does that mean? How tall is tall in the context of mass timber construction? Now, I'm going to give you my take on this. Usually the way that I look at defining what is a tall mass timber building, I put this all in the context of what the building code previously looked at in terms of allowable building sizes versus what the current version, the 2021 version of the International Building Code allows. So if we turn to the 2018 IBC or the 2015 IBC, we're generally looking at using mass timber in construction types three, four, or five, but the overall allowable heights of those buildings, height and number of stories, did vary with the occupancy. So for example, we could go up to five stories of multifamily occupancy group R, or we could go up to six stories of a business occupancy, say for offices. So to me, a tall mass timber building is a building that it exceeds those previously allowed height limits. And this, of course, is where we turn to the new code provisions in the 2021 International Building Code, introduced three new construction types, type 4A, type 4B, and type 4C, that allow building heights and building sizes that exceeded those in the previous version of the building codes. Now, starting to take a look at the new construction types in the 2021 International Building Code for tall mass timber construction, type 4C allows you to go up to eight stories if you're a multifamily occupancy, nine stories if you're a business occupancy, and both of of those are limited to 85 feet, again, from grade to the roof. Looking at type 4B construction, we can go up to 12 stories and 180 feet. And then for 4A construction, we can go up to 18 stories or 270 feet. Now, of course, there are some relative differences in these new construction types, things like fire resistance ratings as you get to the taller end of that spectrum. So say 4A construction, fire resistance ratings go up. Similarly, as you get to the taller end of the spectrum, the amount of timber that can be exposed goes down. For example, in 4C construction, all of the mass timber on the interior can be exposed. In 4B, only some of the mass timber on the interior can be exposed. And in 4A, none of the mass timber on the interior can be exposed. Now, when looking at these parallel tracks of tall mass timber construction and high rise construction, there is a bit of a sweet spot that you're able to realize several projects that are exploring tall mass timber construction right now are looking to leverage this opportunity. And the opportunity is this specifically, if you're looking at a type 4C building, these are usually multifamily buildings. Again, we can go up to eight stories or 85 feet. And that 85 feet is from grade plane to the roof. So what some of these projects are looking to do is to do an eight story multifamily mass timber building that is just 
under 75 feet from lowest level of fire department access to highest occupied floor and just under 85 feet from grade plane to the roof and really just barely fit under both of those provisions so you can meet type 4C construction requirements, expose all of the mass timber, eight stories fully mass timber construction, but not have to comply with the high rise provisions. Of course, those provisions can add cost. And when we start to talk about timber skyscrapers, I think generally we're talking about buildings that do exceed these allowable prescriptive height limits and story limits in the 2021 IBC, where we can go up to 18 stories. Whereas with these timber skyscrapers that are being proposed, you know, generally those project teams are more looking at 30 stories, 40 stories, 80 stories. You know, none of those projects have been realized yet. And I think we're certainly yet to see what the actual limits of timber construction are. The height limits that I mentioned earlier are prescriptive, but that's not to say that a project can't propose something alternative to those. And in that case, they would be working one-on-one -on -one with their specific building official and perhaps getting a peer review involved, supplying supplemental information, design analysis, research reports, etc., to justify that their proposed building does meet the intent of the building code. So again, this video is really just an introduction into what is tall wood construction, what is tall mass timber, mass timber high rises, defining some of these terms. Going forward, there are going to be other videos where we get more into the details and the design methodologies of tall mass timber construction. Well, I thank you so much for watching today's video. As always, we'll talk to you all next week.